Well, welcome back. I am Keith Reynolds, host of Morning Coffee. I'm filling in for Mark Cook this morning. It is a Monday morning, and for you Philadelphia fans, I know, yes, the Eagles lost, but we'll talk about that on our sports update. But today, we want to start off the show with uh, a hot topic. Today, we're going to be talking about travel and millennials actually traveling. Today, we have um, the youngest American to visit every country in the world. Lee Abmati is on. Lee, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Good morning. Good morning. So now you've traveled and you've got you've hit every country in the world. <laughs> yes, sir. Every single one. Absolutely. That's a whole. That's an hour segment. I only got ten minutes, but let's start off with the questions. You know, you know, what can we learn about millennials uh, traveling? Well, these days millennials are kind of leading the way in travel, especially in the sharing economy realm. Basically, what that means is they're using uh, tools like Airbnb and Uber. Uh, to basically cut costs and to make their lives easier. They want more of a local experience. Now, Allianz Travel Insurance recently did a survey, and it shows that uh, increased familiarity and trust in the sharing economy has really contributed to this massive uptick in the sharing economy use, and it's being led by millennials. Okay, pretty interesting. So, you know, holidays is upon us again so quick. You know, what are some tips uh, that you have for travelers in the holiday season? Well, with the holidays coming, it's generally a bit of a uh, mess at the airport and with booking and things like of that nature. So I would obviously suggest booking early, uh, giving yourself a significant amount of time at the airport because there's almost inevitably going to be delays and cancellations. And with that, make sure you're covered. Uh, with travel insurance. I myself, I use Allianz Travel Insurance, which will cover uh, you in case of cancellations and delays for prepaid costs uh, for a covered reason. And it's really important to do that because you don't want to ruin your holidays with getting screwed out of a bunch of money or you know something of that nature. So it's a really important tip. And uh, also, go someplace warm because it's going to be cold in the United States. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so Lee, what, um, you know, technology has affected all of our worlds. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit how technology is affecting and, and how to utilize it during the travel in the in travel industry. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I couldn't hear you. Uh, I said that technology, <laughs> speaking of technology, technology is in everybody's industry nowadays. Uh, it's, it's changing our world. How is it changing and helping with the travel industry? Sure, technology is making travel easier without question. Um, apps like Google Maps and TripIt, which I love to organize your travel, and apps like the Allianz Travel Insurance Travel Smart app, which basically uh, gives you real-time flight info, and it also helps you on the ground in case something happens with things like medical emergency numbers, addresses, places to go, uh, translating tools, and basically just makes your life easier on the road in case something happens in a country that's not your own where you're unfamiliar. So technology has really changed both in terms of the sharing economy and just in your handheld devices on the way you travel on the ground. Okay. So now you talked about traveling all over the world. You know, can you tell us a little bit of uh, some top travel destinations uh, and tips for the holiday season when you're traveling to those places? Sure. Uh, based on a recent survey of bookings from Allianz Travel Insurance, the top domestic uh, destination this year is New York City. And surprisingly, the top international destination this year uh, for the holidays is Cancun in Mexico. Now, European destinations are also really popular during the holiday season. Uh, there's been a slight downtick because of terrorism incidents in Europe, places like Istanbul and Brussels and Paris, but destinations like London and even still Paris and places like Munich and Amsterdam are still very popular with American tourists this year. Really? Now you, and you said New York is the... the, the in the United States is the place, the destination place, really? Yeah, New York has actually gotten the most bookings based upon that survey of uh, bookings for this holiday season, and second would be Los Angeles, and third is actually Orlando. Huh, pretty interesting. And that's good. I mean, New York, I mean, if anybody's never experienced New York, you got to go experience it. It's, you know, well, I, live, um, I live in New York, and I'm from here, so I happen to think it's the greatest city in the world, but uh, it's good to see that other people agree with me. And around the holidays, New York is pretty magical. It's a little cold. But it's a great yeah. place to be with Rockefeller Center and the tree and everything else. Absolutely. I'm a little bit south. I'm in Jersey, but we, you know, for an exciting time, you always got to go to New York. Absolutely. Um, 
So, you know, you, you, you talk about terrorism and stuff and how it affects travel. You know, what about the Zika virus in, in Florida? You know, how has it impacted the travelers down in Florida and stuff like that? Right. Since the uh, small outbreak of Zika down in Florida, it's actually seen a 15% decrease in travel bookings for the holiday season, which, of course, is bad. But at the same time, if you're a tourist, it's actually good because generally in the winter season, Florida is really expensive. So if you're going down there, you can actually get a really good deal um, on hotels because there's less money being spent, there's less people going there. So you'll be able to save a little bit of money if you go down there. And uh, I was just in Florida. I've been down there probably five or six times this year. And I've spent a bunch of time in Latin America. And, uh, you know, I'm Zika free. So I, I do encourage people to go. And, uh, you know, Florida's a great place, especially South Florida. And uh, you can get some good deals this summer. I'm sorry, this winter. Yeah. You know what, Lee? i got to be honest with you. The media just loves to just, I don't know, turn our world upside down. You know what, the Zika virus, I mean, it is what it is. If you're not going to plan on getting pregnant or whatever, I mean, it just it doesn't make no sense. I think they scare people unnecessary. So, um, I, I, I myself am not concerned about getting pregnant. So <laughs> I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So you know what, all you guys go down there. You know, it's easy, you know. So, so Lee, where can we find out all this information that you've provided us today? Sure. To get more information, go to allianztravelinsurance.com. And if you'd like some more information on me, check out leeabamonte.com to see my travels from all over the world. Okay, everyone, if you're just tuning in, you have to go back to On Demand and check this out. But we just interviewed Lee Alamondi, the youngest American to visit every country in the world. Uh, check him out as he provided some of the information we could find him. Um, and some of the other information provided on this uh, interview, you can uh, check out those, those locations as well. We're going to be right back uh, with more morning coffee right after this. Uh, 90 second commercial. High achieving students. Internationally renowned faculty. And award winning alumni. A 226-year history of excellence and a beautiful...